Okay, welcome back. So Dale here from Zephyr War Games. Welcome back to round two from our locals at the weekend. We have Brad with the Blue Eyes Matt playing Metapho Zoo, uh, Bababoo and Sangan. And on our left, we have Luke playing Invoked Heralds. So it's very, very interesting, um, you know, deck to watch. And it's a very, very interesting battle to watch. So I believe uh, Brad won game one. Luke is going to be going first in game two. Is that a light statue? Is that... He's sitting on a light statue. What a... <laughs> so, how far can you go without using your normal summon can he get that statue down I don't think he can I think he's going to need uh, Alistair yeah he can use a statue for Alistair fodder uh, and get into a mech bar but mech bar is relatively easy to bait out to be fair if you do it right oh he's got the chair combo he's got the chair combo reveals the chair in hand to the special for that uh Oh, hang on, what just happened? So, set to normals. Oh, that's it. So, yeah. So, set to normals. Um, reveal, uh, add in chair number two. Chair number one goes off in hand to special summon that. And then chair number two goes off to special summon that. And then Luke gets double draw. It's a really weird one, like, because you can't special summon the one you search. So, if you normal scepter, search a chair, you can't special summon it and misses timing. Because he already had a chair in hand, the second chair tags on to the first chair blah, blah. Uh, and now he's plus two so he's got he's used his normal summon out he's choosing not to use all oh, tight ties ties what is this honest and the light statue yeah there we go honest is coming back to hand he's paid the 2k or paying the 2k because they're all light fairies uh, he can bounce on his back in the end phase. So he's got uh, he's got protection for his statue. <laughs> Brad, top deck, Regeki. Whoa. <laughs> Find out in a minute. Uh, now what we've got? He's got a statue in hand. He's got an Alistair in hand. In the main phase two, he's bounced back the Herald. Stop shuffling so fast, Luke. I want to see what you got in your hand. Ah, oh, he's got the Herald field, uh, Herald summoning spell. He's got the ritual field spell. Alistar, statue, and honest. So over to Brad. What can you do, Brad? What you got? Do you have a dark hole or a geki? Or a light kaiju? A light kaiju would help you as well. No. Didn't see that one coming. Oh well. Did he see Oh yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, did Brad see any the fact that did he just feel his pain invoked? But no, because obviously loot did a uh, pre prep. What we got, Brad? Oh, off the top with desires. It must be desperate. He top decks that Regeki. Whoa. Whoa. What's he top decked? What have you top decked? Oh, he's top decked a dark hole. No way. No way. Oh, no. That is brutal. That is disgusting. Oh, I wouldn't know what to do from there. He had it all. He had the statue protected and then Brad goes and pulls out a bloody Desires. I'm assuming he plays one Dark Hole and one Regeki, but looking for a two card and then, ugh. No, 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 no. Dark Hole is not your friend. Well, it's Brad's friend, not Luke's. That is unbelievable. I can't believe he's done that. Only Brad. Anyone else, right? In that 10 banished would have been every out to that statue. And the two draws would have been absolute dog. <sighs> I'm not sure what I can say about that, to be honest. I hope he's banished his... Did he banish his talking to Borg? I think he banished his talking to Borg. There you go. That's karma. Slightly. Well, unless he's holding on to it. No. Combination goes off. Probably his gold driver getting his combination. There's your arch eccentric, eccentric popping out, popping combination. Pop, pop. I love arch eccentric. 
Shame I never picked up the uh never picked up another one in secret. Now we just sit and wait, let Brad go off. Can Brad OTK is the question. If he can, I feel sorry for Luke because he had a very strong board. There's your talking to a board, so he did have it. Keeping us waiting, how dare he. Time bird, so even if Luke does want to get a Herald out, ain't happening. Whiptail, Rabbit, Gold Driver. It's going to go in Eccentric as well. Is there any point in going Eccentric at the moment? Well, what have you got? What can you bring out? Yeah, it goes Eccentric. Uh, Silverid pops Eccentric. So we just used it as fodder, pop fodder, to get a uh, fusion, I would say. Is that right? And then Rabbit's going off. Gives him his two space for his Silverids. And then you're going from there. You're going to get your... You're gonna get, you're gonna have a bad time. Yeah, and then Luke just concedes. There's not much further Luke could have done with that, I'm afraid. That desires, that desires dark hole kind of, <sighs> kind of did it, really. Not much more he could have done, unfortunately. Um, did he have the eccentric in hand? His eccentric in hand could have popped here, but that dark hole just did all of the hard work for him. Well, as always, next time, man. Uh, so that was uh, you know, a very interesting game, all about top decks and luck. Uh, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. We do have more rounds coming up. I believe we've got two more rounds coming up for you guys. Um, so stick with us. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share. And until next time, guys, as always, happy dueling. If you like that video, why not check out our other videos available? We've got more deck profiles, pack openings, and of course, duels. And don't forget to click on the most important button of all, that subscribe button, right in the bottom left-hand corner.